Well, hello everyone and welcome to Fab or Flop, the show where I test makeup items and tell you whether or not they're fab or if they're flop. Today, I will be testing the Elf Skin Hit Kit. It is a cannabis sativa seed oil kit and it retails for $15 and has four pretty good items in it. So let's see if it's fab or flop. So to begin, I just put on this calm bomb and then used the puff puff primer and the hydration cream, happy hydration cream on my face just to prep my face for the makeup that's about to go on it. I really love this primer and the moisturizer. Then I take my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and put it on my eyes as a primer for the eyeshadow that I do. Then I take this contour shade and I put it in my crease as a crease color and I just work that over both eyes. I like to pat it in and then go in and blend it out. I find that this method works better than just going straight in and blending. And then I'm just doing that for the other eye. And then I'm taking this sculpt shade and it's going to be like a transition color and I'm taking a fluffier brush and just blending that out and just kind of make it like a gradient effect. And then I'm taking that same color pop concealer and in a way I'm trying to cut the lid but not really just make it um, slightly lighter. Now I'm just blending it out with this brush. I found that it was easier to blend with a brush surprised it at my fingers. And then I'm taking this sparkly purple shade from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just putting that on my lid um, and I alternate between a brush and my finger just to put it on because sometimes the shadow looks better when you pack it on rather than uh, swipe it on. And then I'm just going back in and blending everything out with um, a big fluffy brush. Then I'm taking these two NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliners in Lilac and in Purple. And I'm just doing like an ombre liner in the crease. Today I decided not to do a wing or anything, just to do crease liner. Now I'm putting on these Missé lashes. They are in the style Elidia. And I really like these. They're like faux mink. 3D lashes. I put them on my finger rather than a tweezer because I feel like it's just easier to get it in the position where I need it. And then I'm using the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is a really good mascara and it is also derived from cannabis sativa seed oil. Then I'm taking the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer and the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I'm just using those to highlight and conceal parts of my face. The sponges that you see me using throughout are the Beauty Bakery uh, blending eggs. These are really good affordable sponges. So I recommend picking those up. I use the ColourPop No Filter Foundation and the face oil that came in the kit and I mixed them together. And this is me just blending out the foundation. I like to blend out my foundation with a sponge rather than a brush because there's just no chance of getting swirl marks when you use a sponge. Then I take the Morphe powder and I set my face with it. I always set my face with this and I feel like it just makes your makeup look flawless. And now I'm bronzing my face with that sculpt shade that I use as a transition color and I'm taking the highlight in that palette. I'm just highlighting my nose and my cheeks. I love a good highlight. And now I'm taking a mixture of this NYX Butter Gloss and Praline and Glitter Lip Lingerie. And that's my favorite lip combo. And yeah, it just makes your lips look really good. This is the finished look. And I hope that you all liked it. Uh, I really love doing colorful looks. So will it be fab or flop people?
I hope you all enjoyed today's episode of Fab with Flop. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.